Hello, this is Chaos Blue, and welcome to more Let's Play Final Fantasy VI. We are outside of South Figaro, and we're going to get on with the show in a moment. But there's something I want to address really quickly first. I don't remember if I said I was going to do this, but I think I did. That I would grind up or force armor or something. In any case, I need to go over my equipment, which I did not do any grinding to afford. Right now, it looks like this. Terra has a great sword because it's the best sword and she can use it. This guy has the Mithril Knife because it doesn't actually matter what weapon he has. Because we are going to pretty exclusively be using his, um, his technology weapons. Like Auto Crossbow. And those do not have power that is derived from what he's holding. And he has the Mithra Sword because it's the best weapon he can use. Other than that, I pretty much just bought the best armor for everyone. Which is actually different for everyone, huh? And that's about all I did. And, uh, and on that note... On with the show! We want to go north from South Figaro. Uh, just a little while, because there is a little cabin here. What could possibly be here, and why are we going out of our way to visit it? Let's find out! No? No? I thought... Did it hit the... No? Huh, I thought there was a potion there. Must be inside. Hmm... What's that smell? I wonder. This tea, it was his favorite. Who's favorite? Stop being so cryptic. Oh, there's the potion. And while we're here, what we can... These dishes, they're just like the ones he always used. Seriously, who is this person you're talking about? Uh, by the way, you can do that and rest in this cabin. For completely for free, and it's identical to resting in an inn. Uh, which I think I had already done, but I digress. You can do that here. And you don't actually need to do it in South Figaro if you don't want to. These flowers. He always liked these. Who are you talking about? It's not a woman, because you keep saying he, but oh, there's a... It, could Sabin be living here? Like, as in your long-lost twin brother? There's an old man! He wasn't here before. Hey. Do you... you ha happen... Leo, you know, let's try that again. Um, do you happen to know where I could find the man who lives here? Sure do. Left a couple days ago. Soon as he heard Master Duncan had been killed, headed up to the mountains. They say Duncan's son Vargas is missing too. I don't like it one bit. And he walks off. So, there is now a Master Duncan. I wonder what kind of master. Yeah, I think you can probably guess what kind of master. Well, maybe not actually. You'll find out soon enough, though. It will soon become self-evident. In any case, the mountain they're talking about is right after this battle. Um, no. It is pretty much directly east of where we are right now, which means we need to go down first to go around the, well, to go around the mountains <laughs> to reach the mountain. Because, you know, that's, that's how Final Fantasy works. Whatever. Um... Couldn't steal? How disappointing. Truth be told, I probably didn't need a very good weapon on lock either, because except against bosses, I'm going to be pretty exclusively just using him to steal. At least for the first chunk of this game. Uh... Ooh, I need to pay attention to where I'm going. Right here is where we want. Welcome to Mount... 
Holtz. Which is more or less what it looks and sounds like. Oh, actually though, before I go in, before I forget, I want to save... As this area is short, and it's not too hard, except for one uh, thing near the end that is very easy to screw up. And I want to be prepared in case I screw up. Auto crossbow. What? Don't gang up on Terra. Oh. Okay then. This, this I can live with. Could have gone for something better than a potion, but, you know, it's still early. Now then. Uh, yes, this is looking... Wait, there's a cave here. Uh, hmm. You know, where's my list of things? This is not an area we'll be coming back to later. So, hey, you know, I got a pincer attack again. Hmm. This is not an area we'll be coming to later, so you can sort of loot without consequence, I guess you could say. I mean, that pretty much sums up what, what I'll be doing, so... I mean, well, yeah. There's four items here. Two of them are tents, which are expensive and therefore good to get, and two of them are things that I care quite a bit more about. Um, heal, heal. Now, I believe if I go down he- no? I thought that was how I got that box. Well, I suppose I was wrong. Uh, and birds which I think rounds out most of the enemies we'll be encountering in the, these mountains. There's one more uh, type, I think. Oh, but pretty much everything just dies to auto crossbow at this point in the game. It becomes less overpowered later on, because the thing with um, Edgar, wh why could I not remember his name? The thing with Edgar's equipment, uh, special equipment, is it doesn't scale very well with your levels. And it doesn't scale at all with your equipment. Which means that until you get new, um, well, new tools for him, which are tend to be very few and far between, he has pretty hard limits on how power po powerful he is. Because his effectiveness doesn't really go up very readily. But, he still makes the first part of the game pretty damn easy. Okay, I think I- yeah, there we go. That's how you get over here, for the first box. The main gotch, which is a knife. Um... Why did I even- Well, I guess I bought it because- Oh, you can't even use this, hmm. Okay then. Well, okay then. A short dagger that sometimes parries enemy attacks. Okay, so, this increases my vision by 10. Which makes this a really good time to mention this. Uh, in this version of the game, this is very useful to have. However, if you're playing the original one on Super Nintendo, and I think the one on PS1 as well, although I'm not 100% sure about that one, the evasion is useless, because there's a glitch that makes your magic evasion be exclusively used for both physical and magical attacks. Um, that, for the same reason actually, shields in the original version are basically worthless. Um, and yeah, that's, that's basically how this game goes, or how the original version went. I know for a fact that this version fixed that bug, so, you know, it'll be interesting playing around that. But it's something to keep in mind. Now then. 
And actually, it's particularly relevant because it is totally possible to max out completely your either your physical or magic evasion in this game. You can't do both at the same time, but it is very much doable to completely max out one of them so that you're basically untouchable by anything that is dodgeable. Uh, I need to heal Terra before she gets killed. Uh, this will probably kill them though. Oh, it didn't kill them both. Son of a bitch. Phoenix sounds are expensive, man. You can't just go killing Terra. Man. I've been way too careless. I did this with Locke earlier, too. Just... That's no good. It's no good at all. Oh, well. Let's keep heading up. Um... Cut. No, wait, don't cut! These guys are the last things we haven't encountered. They're obviously monks. Uh, and because they're monks, you can probably guess that thing about Master Duncan. He's a monk. Go or was, I suppose, would be more accurate since he's dead now. Oh, as far as we know. Um. Yeah. Okay, now, I think I can... S nope. Oh, yes! You can totally s sneak around this corner. Like so. What's more is, now that I'm done with that battle, it's interrupting me, you probably want to because, as I recall, there is treasure. The Gigas Club, which is a relic. I am almost certain. I believe it increases your strength. Uh, physical attack power. It doesn't increase your strength, but it makes it hit harder. Um, let's, sure, let's throw this on Terra. Since it's not useful on him. Um, and this light here? Unless I'm... Th wait, what? No? This isn't... This isn't a thing? I thought for sure it was. Huh. Like, is this really not a thing? How is this not a thing? Well, it's not a thing. Oh well. So... So, let's, let's get back on track. Back around here, and continuing to progress. Okay, so, conveniently, I just got a rare steal from those monk enemies. Um, I got a bandana. Woven from behemoth hair. Hmm. Well, it has... it. It's a very small upgrade on the plump hat. It's not really that great, but it is still better than what we're wearing, and you can steal it from those monks. If you're persistent enough. Because it is a rare steal. Um, it's obviously not something I plan on farming. I'm just sort of... But, well, I lucked out enough to get it, so I should show it off, right? You have the highest... No, no, I'm looking at magic defense. Okay, you have the lowest defense, so I'm going to give this to Terra, because I'm tired of her dying. Um, not just her, actually. You know, I say that, but I'm really only dying from bad play. So, whatever. 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 Now then, ooh, there's a guy there! Wait a sec. Yeah, that goes around the mountain, kinda cool. Um, okay, I just had to make sure, nope. I may have missed a tent. Hmm, no, no I didn't. I'm pretty sure I didn't, anyway. Well, if I do, it's not the end of the world. It is just a tent, so... Um, one of these leads to the elusive tent, and the other one continues. Which one is which, though? Um, I think... I think 
Uh, ooh! Hey, I haven't fought you yet. Man, I thought I encountered everything on here. Why do you, are you not on my list? Or maybe I just miscounted, actually. That's that's totally possible. Um, you would poison Terra, wouldn't you? Auto crossbow! Well, let's just mop you up. Before Terra takes massive poison damage. Well, I don't think she really has enough HP to take massive damage, but even so. Um, do I have antidotes? I do. Good. Okay. We want in here. I'm pretty sure is where my el the elusive tent is. Indeed it is. The tent. Awesome. Okay. Now then, let's try to get back on track. Uh, we should be close to the end, actually. As I said before, this is not a super long area. Uh, can I? No. Thinking of a different spot. Okay, um... Thinking... Okay, okay, um... I might... Were there two tents? My notes say there are two tents, but it, I don't know, maybe I just wrote it down wrong. Whatever, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't. It's just a tent. Tents are basically the lowest common denominator. They are so not a big deal. Hmm. I wonder if it would be more if, Well, no, I just one-shot them with the auto crossbow. Um, you know, though, I should come to think of it. You might have more, on the big guys with a lot of HP, you probably would have more luck using your Noise Blaster first, as if they're confused, they can't hurt you. Uh, <laughs> not as readily at least. Oh hey, there's that shadowy figure again. I guess we'll cross the bridge. I'm so glad that didn't collapse. Okay. Now that- okay, here's the save point. Dead is in a light stream, but there's also the sparkle. And I'll definitely save here. Especially- if you've never played this game before, make sure you save here. If you have played it before, then you know what's coming up, and you- you know- well, and then you probably know how to, how to, how to handle it. But if you haven't, then you probably don't. We just... Okay, so... This area is sort of a spiral. As I recall, wait... Two paths... No, it's a dead end. Yeah, it's basically it spirals down to a central area. Okay, so... I really just want to get to the bottom quickly. Uh, oh! That should do it. Hmm, is that the shadowy figure we saw before? But who is he? He's shirtless, so presumably a monk, but aside from that, who knows? Well, I know, but do you know I'm not telling? So, who is this mysterious figure? What is he doing in the middle of nowhere? And why do I feel like things are about to go down that are no good at all. Tune in next time to find out! <laughs> oh yes. So until next time, when we find out the answer to all those questions and more, this has been Let's Play Final Fantasy VI with Chaos Valu. See ya! And have a great day.